Uh, wait a minute. Weren't we in front of a door in the last part? Well, we're in front of uh, yet another door because. How many this, doors uh, are there? You know what? You know what? This is the biggest courthouse ever. Like seriously, just how big this is room this looks courthouse? exactly the fucking same you as know, the one in the last part. You know, you know, again, again. I know why the game wants us to go this way, but narratively speaking, why? I guess these guys really want to clear out this courthouse because I'm pretty sure that they could have escaped earlier. Like they literally could have gone outside the building when things went to crap. I mean, again, I know why the game is leading us this way to meet our final boss, but why are they still hanging out in this courthouse when they could have escaped? Why couldn't because... we just... It's one of those cases where, narratively speaking, Joe, we should have just skipped straight from the trial straight to the final boss. Yeah. But the, game, but the game needed to do everything in its power to pad this game out to full length to justify the price tag. Like, okay, okay, okay. If you want to have this stuff go on, have some story events happen, like maybe have it be during our sojourn for the court and they realize, oh crap, Karn's alive, let's chase him to finish the job, and then the colonel would have gone, alright, but after this you still have to deal with us and all that whatnot. Like, at least that would have given us a reason for why they're going deeper and deeper in. Like, you know, that's the thing about this story, when it's not being lame, it's being lazy. Or just dumb. That's the that, that's the big that, that's the big problem. Like uh, compared to this, something like um, uh, it's like when you think of bad writing, like uh, this is one of the le least common nowadays. Because nowadays, when you f when you think of terrible writing, you think something like Neil Druckmann's Last of Us Part Two, which is just you know audience hostile, whereas uh, some or, or something like. Um, uh, Oh god, there was that Let bad game recently released that Sorry, had... I forgot, what, what is the metaphor you're going for? Well, I'm trying to say it too, I'm talking about in terms of the case, different cases of bad, I'm trying to do my, I'm trying to play bad writing doctor to you. Oh, and okay. And explain the different, uh, the different diseases that that cause bad writing. I guess. Well, and... there's the, there may be cases where the bad writing comes from having the product, having to be because of executive meddling, and as a result, the writer had to go through a well, gajillion drafts, I guess. Well, yeah, well, yeah, that is one, that is a case too. However, that's more so, like I said, outside causes. I'm talking about like a, a genuine problem with the writer himself or herself. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Like when it's something like okay, like I said, Neil Druckmann, audience hostile. What about uh, the Final Fantasy thirteen also... trilogy ending? Final Fantasy thirteen, uh, that's very simple. Ego indul indulging, like seriously, <laughs> like uh, a guy, a guy, a guy that cannot get over himself to save his life, to save his life. There is not even any interest in what the audience thinks. He's, um... His entire purpose, his entire and only interest, is to indulge his ego. Um... Well, if we're um... But if it's into a playing bad movie, Doctor, what about uh, Battlefield Earth? Battlefield Earth, plain incompetence. It's a very simple... Um, yeah, the, a, the, a, the cases where the writer thinks uh, the, the things we're gonna write is like the next best thing ever, even when it's <laughs> not like, uh, uh, depending on their ego, and it turns out to not be that, I guess. Well, well, uh, with, such, with such classic dialogue, guys, with endless options for redo, with endless <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I still enjoy that movie. I was like, that movie's still a great comedy to me. But anyway, then you got uh, cases like Detroit Become Human, which think that they're doing a public service oh, with their that's writing. A one to, to, uh, yeah, uh, horrible, pretentious, and preachy. There you go. That's another one. This, <laughs> oh, this one. Is fun. This is a, this is a very uncommon illness tale. I diagnose this one. The diag my diagnosis is uh, terminal lameness. That's wow. what this is. Tom, B Tom Bissell suffers from terminal lameness. Oh boy, oh. what will be over the land? Okay, welcome to God of War 2, I guess. I mean, this is like the beginning <laughs> where you're defeating <laughs> roads. Sorry, Taylor, we're not so lucky. Oh god, the humanity! What have we done? The... I will say this, for this final portion, the architecture of the city actually looks interesting why couldn't we spend the entire game oh, here yeah because that's, that's a great Tio, we had the to spend most of it looks better when it that's a, that's a great side it? it looks better when it's on fire Let, it's the make... statue it's a statue of justice i think it was in the original in the in the, in the beginning cinematic i forgot basically Tio, because we had to spend most of the overarching narrative in the courthouse we didn't get to see much of the outside whoa 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 wait i, I got i got a minute i got 
So there was a mission where you either have to beat it in six minutes or you die. What, what <laughs> happened? Does someone does the does the game implant a chip in the back of your head, and when the timer <laughs> runs out, it blows your brain from the inside, like in Mission Impossible Three? I guess. Why don't you see, Dwibs? Suddenly, Bear died of a heart attack in six minutes because he he just couldn't <laughs> take it. He he just couldn't take it anymore. I mean, I know he went through all this other stuff. But I mean, like, well, bear, oh, well, do you, I, I, wait, oh wait, uh, actually, actually, you know what, Libs? Since we're talking about bad plots, Jaws 4, The Revenge, belittling a famous character. Well, they have it that Martin Brody died because- For no real reason, No, 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 yeah. no, 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 dear, 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 let me quote. The fear, the fear that oh, killed shit. him. That's right, the fear of a shark, mind you, after he's blown up at least two sharks is what supposedly killed Martin Brody off screen. <laughs> Yeah, I guess very, I guess very easily, like, there's another category, uh, sequelitis, uh, for the sake of it, uh, I guess. Uh. I mean, that'll be the only, honestly, honestly, Pezzo, dying off-screen due to fear, that, that that's probably the only worst way, uh, Joel could have gone out in Last of Us Part. <laughs> Don't you see? It was the fear of the it. zombies no, that killed no, Joel. No, no. So basically, what you're saying was, is that, uh, you would be the the animator dying of a heart attack from Monty Python the Holy Grail, except played for, played straight. Yeah. And, 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 and then suddenly Joel dies of a heart attack. <laughs> I mean, okay, go. okay, okay. You know, <laughs> you know, one has to wonder if Joel dying of a heart attack would have been a more dignified end for him than that Golf was... Club. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The, Honestly, the, the, I'm, I'm, the, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting Abby, to be an act, an actual genuine guest in the next Everybody's oh. Golf game. <laughs> yes. I mean, so Sony property, you can do it. It has happened in the past. Yeah, for also, Kratos showed up yeah, in the previous, in the previous make titles. Joel a playable Come on. character in Everybody's Golf on PS5. Yes, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, watch your, but yeah, that's the oh, watch your cutscene. There you go. And not actual there he is. Oh, another boomer. <laughs> oh. Nothing personal. <laughs> that is an amazing handgun. Hold the air. And quite the fake out as well. I thought we were going to have to face that guy. I'm surprised we didn't, didn't pull. I'm surprised we didn't pull the cliche of uh, oh, uh, the colonel seems to be shooting, seems to be about shooting uh, at Bear and the others, but Ben is shooting at a uh, at, 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 um, uh, at, uh, Yeah, go on. Where did the body go? Uh, it has appeared into the ether. So basically, uh, now, Dwibs and Tio, yes, we are it, now have to fight alongside the Colonel. Right. Can, can, can't you just, you know, you use friend? Can't you just use friendly fire against him? Well, Tio, remember, you we were t complaining about how you know we should all be united against the locusts. Well, there you go. They're uniting the, uh, against the locusts. See, hand in hand. <laughs> More like hand cannon in hand cannon, but uh, considering his power power is not even that efficient, I'm not sure if it's more of a load than anything. That's the thing, no, actually, that's the thing remember too, each, each gear carries two guns. He has that handgun, but he also has a Lancer with him. That's the thing though, right, his, his handgun was pretty much able to down one of the giant Yeah, moves. because he because got a uh, surprise headshot, uh, you know. Well, uh, well actually, that, that bolt and handgun, that's actually a natural gun that you use in this game. You, you yourself yeah. can also use that gun, to be fair. True. So it's not like true. it's one of those cases where, you know, the NPCs get all the cool toys and you don't know. You actually can use that toy, so, uh -huh. to be fair. Well, oh yeah, but, uh, um, okay, aside from the Lancer, what's your favorite weapon? I think you already uh, told the, the, sniper, the sniper rifle, yeah. Yeah, the long shot. Of um, it's, uh, again, you see, this is basically what I, you see, too, this is exactly why I decided to declare this my diagnosis. The terminal lameness <laughs> of the Gear series ever since Tom Bissell touched it. Would you say uh, terminal lameness um, goes in hand in hand with terminal uh. laziness? It does. However, it, I, I, I am tempted to point out the lameness more because it's quite a rare uh, Ill, uh, writing illness nowadays. Because most of the time now you see audience hostile. That's the most prominent common yeah. illness yeah. right now. Lameness is kind of a rarity nowadays. Um, sure. So I actually find this to be a very interesting specimen. So don't must study it. Oh, uh, I mean, it seems to be. It's honestly seem think that it seems to be more lenient towards Microsoft as a whole because that seems to be the general consensus for the plot of a lot of its recent games like Crackdown Three. 
It's lame. It's absolutely well. I can't speak for those. Like I can only speak for years. Oh man, um, Crackdown Free turned out to suck. What a shame. Well, m m more like more like Jova. Not not even just that. Just that it wasn't really the fun that it was promoted in well, the well, marketing well, campaign. And before well, in the well, audience well, says well, it, yes, I was actually before well aware that Crackdown Free sucked. But it still is no less a shame that something with Terry Crews involved as well. Yeah, obviously. Well, Joe, for development uh, story like that, it could, uh, it, there was no way that game could come up with anything other than, than a mess. I mean, so. I mean, okay. To be fair, I have heard of games that have been in development now that have turned out to be good. Like hell, Doom 2016 is practically a horror story of game development, and yet somehow that game turned out to be flipping amazing. True, but uh, that that was a once in a blue moon scenario. Pretty uh, much. Yeah, and I guess to I be guess. fair, yeah, I guess to be fair, Crackdown Free, I guess not much value like was a, lost. Like, yeah, it's not really worth pointing out, Joe. But it's it's kind of like how every time, it's kind of like how every time DC casts someone, uh, and like for example, like uh, personally so far, I'm not entirely convinced with Robert Pattinson as as uh, Bruce Wayne. I don't think. Oh. He, I don't. I don't think he looks. Uh, quite on like because Bruce Wayne is supposed to be a suave, pretty looking, you know, playboy type character. Whereas Robert Pattinson doesn't really give me that vibe when I look at him as Bruce Wayne in the I'm actually, like, trailer. Well, well, actually, that leads me to a question because I was discussing that with one of my friends. Uh, would you think it would have fit better as Terry McGinnis, uh, Batman Beyond? Hmm. Yeah, that would be a better choice. Yes, I agree. Well, um, the thing is, though, the thing is, though, um, yeah, since since the live action movies are tending to aim more for the uh, bigger mass audience crowd, um, who's I mean I mean compared to Bruce Wayne, Terry McGinnis is what is known by like I don't know. Well, maybe it's a maybe it's a good maybe it's a good occasion hey. to actually bring the character wait, wait, wait. to life yeah. for new people. I, I want to I want to make clear by the way that this is in no way me trying to throw any kind of shade at Robert Pattinson. He was my favorite in Tenet, so. Oh. Uh, that, that's not at all uh, a knock on him. Like, uh, it's not his fault. I just think he's miscast. Okay, okay, okay. Dwibs, anyway. you, okay, Dwibs, you couldn't be more mistaken. Terry McGinnis is known by a lot of people thanks to a little ditty that you may have heard of called the DCAU, the DC Animated Universe, with the Batman Beyond show, especially with the Batman Beyond show recently getting remastered into full on HD here and there. Like, that's the thing. The DCAU made a lot of characters more prominent to a lot of people. Like, for instance, an Harley entire Quinn. yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, it's thanks to the TCU that we even have Harley Quinn. Not only that, the DCU yeah. made Wally West pretty much the definitive Flash until it you know revitalized they revitalized completely uh, Mr. Freezer from being very, <laughs> very generic, uh, mind yep. you. Hell, yeah, I mean, I, I, thought Mr. The new... I thought Mr. Freezer was an animated. The new... No, like actually, a... it was a like, Silver Age, but it was really just a dude with a cold gun. And, yeah, and and and, uh, and ice puns in the animal show. Yeah, that and uh, the, uh, and the new Harley Quinn animated series is oh, exactly is how great. I want. Is exactly how I want Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey to be depicted. Exactly like how it should be in my eyes. But anyway, um, oh boy, all these weapons uh, that you can select. To my, back to my earlier idea. Yeah, like I said, like it's kind of like the same thing with having. Um, it's one of those cases where sometimes it can be one of those things where an actor can be miscast, you know. Uh, it's not at all his fault, uh, it's my Robert Pattinson example. Um, so it's one of those cases where... Uh, God, uh, just, oh, God. Although I have... Um, hold on, like, hold on, I have, on, hold I have on. faith in Matt Reeves to uh, make something good out of it. Hold on, hold on. Um, uh, okay, I'll say this. My stance on it is this. I think Robert Pattinson looks great in the Batman suit. I feel like oh, we need. That I, agree. I do feel like maybe we'll see more of him as Bruce Wayne later. Seeing as how, as far as we've seen him as Bruce Wayne, that's mainly just when you know he's taking the helmet off. So obviously he's in a more <laughs> adult state here. I think maybe when we get to see more of him as Bruce Wayne, he'll probably okay, be better. Let me guess. The tr the chopper gets blown up. Oh no. boy, watch this. I, was I, I love how he doesn't actually answer the question. <laughs> well, there we go. well, okay. Well, it does get blown up. Later. Come yeah, on. So, uh, Pedro, what's that even oh, saying? I swear to you, I didn't even remember that. How dare you! 
I still, I, I, this game is uh, so unremarkable. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. So I just want to point this. I love how the colonel goes, your boogeyman. Huh, it doesn't look so tough. Again, the colonel well, doesn't... Tough tough the iron iron iron. What does that even mean? <laughs> Hey, and gentlemen, welcome to the final boss of Gears of War Judgment. So, Wait, yeah. Wait, no, like, uh, Karn shows up out of nowhere with no dialogue at all? That's the yep. thing, Tio. You only know that Karn is in there by being told with the declassified dialogue. Like, the characters don't even point out that it's Karn, but apparently it's Karn. Yeah, true, but at the same time, I don't want to have quote-unquote elite locust defending car. No thanks, I just want to get this game over with, thank no, you. No, uh, okay, wait. <laughs> I think Tio has a point, though. Why not give us a cutscene showing that, oh, Karn's manning the vehicle or whatnot, but... There's no build-up at all, like... This makes, this makes the Lambent Brumach of Gears 2, like, way better in comparison, because that actually had build up and the character reacting to it. This oh, the final boss shows up, go kill it. Me, Again, this is this is a very arcade like experience. Let me put it like you get this. down to it. I don't mind if you wouldn't mind, but there's such a tone of it's such a change compared to the rest of the series, my brain gets whiplash as a result. Let me put it like this. Yeah, that's you... exactly the issue tale. You're feeling exactly what Gears Wars fans are feel have been feeling for for years at this point. Very good, Terry. Let you, me put it like you've, you've, yeah. you've, you've, you've reached phase four. Four is the second, right? Let me put um, um, No, no, no. Five. Five you've reached is... phase. Congratulations, Terry. You've reached phase five. Let me, yes, put, let me put it like this. You could have literally have replaced Karn with any other elite mook in there. Or hell, replace him with Rom in the end. Like saying, like, Rom. Yeah, I was about to say, this is a prequel. Women. Make it General Rom at the end, just having been, like, retreat like he does in Shadow of Rom as well. Like, like that's something. I Karn is such a lame villain because he had literally has no presence. Like, sure, yeah, you can technically see him, but. There's no cutscene introducing him. Like, we're told, oh, Karn was such a big deal. Reminder, Karn was supposedly the reason that, you know, Baird pulled rank and, you know, went against orders here and there. For all we know, Karn was a nobody who really didn't require using that bomb that could have saved thousands more, as the colonel stated. <laughs> it's like, mm, holy smokes. The narrative, the more you think about it, really is... Okay, it's not the worst of the Gear series, trust me. Four and five are worse than this, but it is really like said, stupid. Joe, it's a dire, dire case of terminal lameness. Pretty much, but I mean, ser yeah, I mean, I, yeah, technically, yeah, bro, I guess we can assume that Baird was right, but unlike other Gears games, well, I mean, unlike the classic trilogy, it doesn't show us this. Like, compare this to ROM, like... For as, uh, I mean, for as minuscule as the narrative in the first game may have been, it did a great job in showing how Rom meant business with the characters he took out and his presence here and there to the point where he was an intimidating final boss. Like, we pretty much fought him toe to toe. Whereas Karn here, again, I think this is the first time we're actually seeing him because he's pretty much just been talked of off screen. Like, what do we. Okay. With Rom, we knew we knew enough what we needed to know. With Karn, as far as I know, I could pretty much just replace him with Rom, and that would probably have more impact because Rom is someone we know. Uh -huh. My... Also, I'm not I'm noticing something thanks to the uh, the fire everywhere, you know, and the, the contrast with the night. I'm starting to noticing the a sort of a shift into the more quote unquote colorful. Aesthetics of the color palette that will permeate gears from four onward. This feels an odd transition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This game actually. Um, the, the, the interesting thing is that. Um, oh, that's the name of the beast. The interesting thing with this game is that this game did start development, like it's both this game, like uh, basically. Uh, this game was developed by, was at the time, back when it started development, uh, Epic Games' B team. Whereas uh, Cliff and his also, A team. Oh, people can fly. Gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, also, uh, and people can fly as well, yeah, true. Um, but while well, at the same time, Cliff and his A team uh, were, uh, uh, and I saw this recently in the uh, History of Gears of War video. On you see, there's, well, see, there's a, there's a red flag for this game. The developers are named after a lie, so. How long leaves are gone, Pedro? 
uh, whereas, uh, but uh, uh, some of the, er like if you go, uh, we know that Cliff Basinski was actually originally uh, already uh, doing some early, very early concept work on gear, on a potential gear for. Apparently the idea, apparently some of the ideas, like for example, like if you look at the original concept art that was made from back in those days, uh, the, the, the Kate's design was already pretty much exactly how it ended up in the final game, for example. So Kate was indeed the original. We don't know exactly what was Cliff's original ideas for the character, because that never came into fruition. Uh, the coalition was not literally took that early concept work and turned it into the actual gear sport we got. Uh, so we don't know what exactly was Cliff's original vision for four. Uh, we'll never know at this point. Wow. Um, so, um, so what prevented him from granting that vision aside from yeah. leaving? <laughs> That's the interesting thing, Jova. It was actually a combination of two things. Like I said, um, Epic Games realized that these games will only get more and more expensive to make. You know, yeah. Cliff would be able to work on more. Mm -hmm. um, there was also apparently the problem that uh, Cliff Kuczynski apparently... Oh wait, he's already dead? Oh. Yes. Stop! Stop! He's oh already God. dead! <laughs> So there hey, you go. Oh, oh, okay, don't really actually say something. Here is the mighty Khan. Guess, guess who gives him the final shot? Too. The the the, the, the colonel. Yeah. Very good. We take our time. There's a difference between war and cruelty. Oh my! Are you fucking yeah. serious? Yeah, there you. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, lady. But for <laughs> yeah, this what one, he said. just for this one, I'm with this the colonel. No, no. For this one, seriously. Yeah, what, what he, what You're in the wrong said. game. Wow. <laughs> So what now? That's the last time anyone's going to address you. Oh, uh -oh. so basically demoted. I'm dropping the charges, but you'll never be an officer again. <laughs> Why should all these brains be wasted on an officer? <laughs> so uh, also shaved that mustache. I'm at, the, I'm, at the, I'm at the very least glad that Baird is still his good also. Private. A handshake <laughs> shows that we are now on good yeah. terms. Yeah, exactly. I'm so young with the Gorazdanian for this one. This means nothing, deep shit. Go away. No wonder I was. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, there. Sophie, you were the inter. For what? I guess they thought you might try to steal our military technology, which you did. Illegally access military technology. That's difference. Sure. <laughs> Pardon me, Lieutenant Baird. It's Private Baird now. Loomis just demoted. So basically, Michael slap Douglas. on the wrist of some oh, since. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you're finally starting to have character interactions. Still a little too late. Actually, no, you don't really. Like, seriously. Where was <laughs> this where was this banter for the game? I know, and, right? Uh, not not and, even just that. Not even just and that. It just cuts like this. So. It's, By it's the way, we've locked Carl Carl Loomis for the multiplayer guys. Yeah. Oh, you can actually please him. I forgot yes. about that. That's right. Well, Tio, of course. I mean I mean, hey, look, we're skimping on this game as is. We gotta use as many models from wherever as we can. I mean, I don't actually. I'm not against that. Uh, I mean, for the multiplayer, it does the job. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. No, it doesn't I, even I, get the credits. I, I, I skipped the credits because uh, oh. I might as well just leave the credits for the for the end because they repeat the credits at the end of the bonus campaign. So might as well just leave it for those. Oh, I thought, okay. I thought, I thought, I thought there was the credits. Yeah, yeah okay, that's the, the thing. We're technically not too. at the end of things. I'm not entirely against this banter either, too, but that final moment, though, where uh, Bear turns to Cole and goes, Hey, Cole, we don't have as much tension between we, do, uh, do we? And then Cole's like, yeah, I think we might. You do? You, you barely said anything in this game, Cole. Well, yeah, if they actually had that kind of banter throughout the entire game, they will actually and, have. I gotta, gotta, gotta. It's like I say, where was this banter? Like, all of a sudden, they're snarking and acting like they're chummy and all that. How Sophie suddenly is acting a lot more go-getter than she has, it's, as opposed this to is, this is like the rules. This, this is like the the first Suicide Squad movie where thanks to the reshoots, the moments of banter are completely spruced in between this more serious stuff. Oh, Except to right, even even so... less. Uh, Jesus you, Christ! So you, you guys want to do final thoughts on, nah. on the main campaign or uh, leave it for an entire overall final thoughts for the end? I think we should uh, just do overall final thoughts. Seeing as how like, well, I mean, the next part of the game is pretty much connected to this. It's just technically a skip over time and 
Well, yeah, I mean, there is a minor connection to it, but it's mostly just a Gears of War free side Even story, so, right? I want to get the full story. Sure, 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 sure. All right, uh, see you for the Aftermath campaign, everybody. Yeah. Yeah.